Hey! Oh, rock a cheek. Hello there. Alright, so here we go. We're gonna go. We're in the mall. We're in the mall parking lot. I think I'll turn the air conditioner on. So we're gonna go to the bus terminal and to the airport. Okay. And then of course I'll also post maps that'll show where I'm going. Wow, it's so dark in here. You don't, you don't get it, do you? It's dark because we are in the Because you know, we're in a parking garage and I have my sunglasses on. Oh. I have my sunglasses too. I took them off. Sunglasses. <laughs> Before we see the sun, we put our sunglasses. Yeah. <laughs> see, look over here. Look what they're doing. What are they doing? They got a bunch of steel in there. Yeah, well, I, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe they're going to do more um, stores. Could be. Like here. But they don't need to be taken away from the parking lot. You know? Well, we have two stories parking lot here. Yeah. Now you can wear your sunglasses. I know somebody's going to ask how much it costs to park in the mall. Every time I do something like this, somebody always asks, how much does it cost to park in the mall? It Free. costs nothing to park in the mall. But you have to have a ticket to get in, and you have to have the ticket to get out, right? Yes. And if you don't have the ticket when you get out, they can charge you, or? Um, if you don't have a ticket to get out, you cannot get your car out. You have to Great. prove it's your car and you have to keep your identification and all that it will take oh, maybe 40 Lord. minutes to get out and you have to show that to the security guard yes the security guard and they make calls they will make calls and they see and uh, call the police and check out your id and everything are you serious yeah. that's an awful lot just because somebody lost their little ticket well you know cars being stolen from the parking lot that's oh. why oh. they've been stolen That makes sense. How about when you go to the mall in the States, do you pay for the parking? No, I don't, I don't I can't answer for now because I haven't been to a mall in the United States in years. You know, usually, I mean, most of the malls that I've ever been to in the States all had outside parking lots. Parking lots that surrounded the whole mall. They didn't have underground parking like we do here. Yeah, I went to a night one in California, and it had like this one, two stories to yeah. park. But no, I don't think so. We had to pay. Yeah. I remember very well. Right. It depends on the maybe it depends on the state. Yeah, it could. Uh, you know. Malls are kind of a dying thing in the United States. I was talking to those people the other night, mm -hmm. and we talked about the malls uh, in Austin. I asked them about these two particular malls that I grew up with, and they're both gone. They're gone? Yeah. They don't exist anymore. They buy it in Amazon. Yeah. It's a tasteless joke. Guy was hopping on one day. But he has only one leg. You know what his leg is? I mean, you know what his name is? No. I'm, I'm not going to say that. Never mind. Yeah. That's a bad taste. I know. I, can, I feel it. it's going to be a bad taste. So I'm not going to keep on with the same conversation. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes you think I have absolutely no class, do you? So this turn, this is the second turnaround or the circle.
from them all. So you go to the second one here and we're going off to the left. And I'll show it on the map. That way everybody can see where it is. That's her. We want to pass by the clock. Yeah. clock, yep. There's so much development going on down here. So I got this message from Don't one me. of my viewers that keeps giving me f these post things, these from Monta News. I don't know what this source is. I never, I think I looked up this Monta News. I think they're on Instagram. And, but everything's in Spanish, so I didn't really subscribe to it. But they show videos of crimes taking place in cars and on the streets and so forth, you know. A lot of people have the misconception that this is a dangerous place. It's not it's any not. different here than it is in any other big city in the world. It's not any different. And sometimes, so I've noticed sometimes some videos are from, especially, they are from other, other countries. Yeah, yeah. And they post like they're here. Yeah. Yeah. So is this you still see, considered now, the Malacan? Now listen, I used to live in this part when I was a, a little girl. Yeah. And I just crossed the street and this, where we're driving right now, yeah. it was water. It was it's beach. It was? Yes. All of this. So this road that we're going down right now at one time was a beach? Yes. It was the best beach we had yeah. in Manta. Yeah. Beautiful, but not anymore. I see people have their cars down there on the beach. I didn't know you could take your cars down there. Usually, I think once that I'm going to buy fish. Yeah. Okay, this There's is the fish this, this is Playita Mia. It's called Playita Mia. Mm -hmm. So, uh, people come here to buy fresh fish that they they yeah. drive it's five in the morning and the boats come in. Oh, well, they're open today. They sell it, yes. Are they open seven days a week? Seven days a week. I didn't know that. I thought it was just Monday through Friday. And here they are, the boats that they're building, you know, to yep. take off fishing. That white boat right there, I've been watching that boat get built. I remember when it was just a shell. That one right there. Like the, the, like the second one was a shell. Yep. yep. He's talking. Don't pay attention. Don't pay attention. <laughs> so this one is called Los Esteros. Los Esteros. Los, Los, no Los. This is also Los. Los. Los Esteros. Los Esteros. This is where the tuna factories are, right? See? This is where people talk. Los yes, Esteros. I see. Los Esteros. Where people talk about it, where it smells bad. But still, I mean, two years that I've been here, I yet to smell bad, you know, this bad air that they're talking about. You know what I mean? It's you have to be one. downwind from it, I guess. Yes, yes. Here comes the <laughs> So that's, is that a tuna factory? Yeah, it's, it's uh, Sifman, it's called. Yeah. Sifman. Sifman. All the tuna factories are around here. Yeah. Now you gotta tell me when we're coming up on the terminal because I don't I've never been there. Why is this guy out in the middle of the street? Get get out of the way, buddy. Get out of the way. <laughs> he didn't move. He didn't move. Forget it. He just completely ignored me. What's wrong with this guy? I noticed that one thing I noticed about Ecuadorian drivers, when they're in the wrong. They do not make eye contact with anybody. Oh yeah. yeah. They yeah. don't acknowledge, they don't look, they don't wave, they don't go, oops, sorry, nothing. Nada. 
fun. Okay, we're going to be close by. So this is the bus terminal that we're coming up to. And if everybody can come here by taxi or by a personal driver or whatever and go just about anywhere they want to in Ecuador. Right? There's right. a bus line that goes yes. up and down the coast. There's bus yes. lines that they go, go all, over Ecuador. all over Ecuador. Yeah, the highlands. For little money. The the, the Quito, Cuenca, Guayaquil, right? Yes. And Monte Cristo. Um, Salinas, Puerto yeah. Cayo, Puerto Lopez, playas, everywhere. Yeah. It's like, um, it's, and, and it's cheap. Yeah. It is cheap. So there's that auto. That's the he's running for president, right? Uh huh. Yeah. Is this the terminal? No. This is the terminal is over there. You see? Okay. Oh yeah. So that's where we go to get the driver's license. Yeah. So there, uh, Lena Camino. They have good buses. Very good bus. Not old here. In right. The, in Ecuador, the buses are good, not old. Just they're the good. city buses are the ones that are And they're not, not too good. old either, no, they're not. They're yeah, well, good they're too. blowing out black smoke. You tell me that's good? Come on. Well, one what? in, 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 uh, in. That's 20. all it takes. Only one. Okay, go in here? Yes. All right, so we're pulling into the bus terminal. There's a laundry facility here. Do we have to pay? No, you don't have to pay. Let's get the ticket. Actually, you don't get Bottom any ticket either. Oh. You just go on. Oh. So, this way is for you know, drop, 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 yeah, people, drop people off. off. But the then way we're going. That's where we, that's where we're going? Yeah. Okay. And then we're going to get out, right? Yeah, well, I'm going to go down the parking lot. But I'm not going to park oh. up here. Oh, right. This is drop off, right? Drop yeah. off and pick up. Uh -huh. Yes. So I'm just letting everybody see, you know, there's the entrance. So we'll come over here, we'll park down there, and we'll come up, and I'll use my cell phone to record. I'll take pictures. And then you can put them all together? They have a Kentucky Fried Chicken here. So this is where Mark said the, uh, the touch about the Kentucky Fried Chicken, remember? Oh, that's right. He said it was the best Kentucky Fried Chicken he's had in a long time. Okay, so there's where we would normally go out, right over there. So I'm going to go in here. So, for, so, so if I wanted to go, like, to Waikil, and I could just park my car here long term, right? Yes. And, and did you see that there's another parking lot in the other side over there? Mm -hmm. Where you, you see the uh, truck, white truck? Yeah. Yeah, that parking over there is to drop uh, boxes and things that are going Cargo? Cargo, yeah. Okay. I'm going to go, whoops, let's do a turn right there. I'm going to go over here by the stairs. I'm surprised this. Of course, it's Sunday, so it's probably not going to be too busy. Maybe. You think? Um, no, Sunday is very busy too. But it doesn't look like it's very busy right now. Well, that maybe later because you know people uh, mm -hmm. that um, from Wayneville that works in Manta, mm -hmm. they come today. <laughs> Yeah. And the people that from Manta goes to Guayaquil to work, they go today. Oh, there's a Aki here. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right. Yeah. Over here. This one 
So there's the bus terminal. So somebody from the mall, if wants, let's say somebody wants to go to Quito mm -hmm. or Cuenca, mm -hmm. all right? They can take a, a taxi from the mall to here, to the bus terminal for three bucks during the day, probably four at night. Yes. And then they can get a ticket to Cuenca on a nice bus line for, what do you think? For $10. $10, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's amazing. But we should have asked. We yeah, but there. we know it's, I know it's less than $20. It's yes. amazing. It's, mm -hmm. I hear stories. I mean, I Mike and them go to Queen or to Whitehill for seven. Okay. So you know? if, if, if let's say it's like $10 to Whitehill. Yeah. But if you are over 65. Yeah. And you, you, yes. you, you don't show your passport. You have to show your cedula. Mm -hmm. You show your cellula and then you pay fifty. I mean five uh, five, five dollars yeah. instead yeah. of ten. Half price. Yeah. Uh, is this an exit? Or do I have to uh, go back? No, go back because then we're gonna go the other way. Alright. Okay. No, I can't. Here's the taxi that's going the wrong way. Yeah. So over sixty you pay half price yeah. to go to Quito, Yaquil, Quito, Cuenca. Yeah. I don't know how much is to go to Cuenca because I never went in the bus. Uh, I should have asked. Well, this is actually a lot better than I thought it was going to be some reason I don't know why. No, it's a nice terminal. Yeah it's this a is a fairly nice new terminal too right I mean the people used to have to go I know that area really well it's slums you know yeah. right. The good thing of today is Sunday so there's not much traffic yeah. that's good. Yeah. I think I just ran a red light. Did I? Did I? I pay attention. Mm, you're not driving. <laughs> Alright, so next stop is the airport. Yeah, which is close by. Yeah. It's actually at this next turnaround, I believe. Right? Yeah. Oh, we see the sign up there. Okay. So there's a gas station here. Aeroporto. Yeah, aeroporto. So we go so around. So we go around. The airport's an easy place to get to. And we're not going to go in the airport because there's this literally nothing to show. It's just one big building, right? Yeah. They have a second floor that's not being used. There goes one of the, there's one of the Rihanna bus. Rihanna, these are the Raina, best ones. Raina. That's, this that's is what the best I keep hearing, Ecuador. they're the best. Yeah. So we had to go all the way around the circle to go down that street right there. To the Aeroporto. Aeroporto. Right? Aeroporto. 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 It's not the way to say it. I always just say, well, El Porto. You try, you try. El Porto. Right? Yes. So, so this is our way to the airport. Yes. In case the viewers didn't get it, we're going to the airport. <laughs> There's not much to look at, but it's an easy trip here. Is this a $3 taxi ride? The same. 
same. It sounds like it, you know what? This is what okay. this is where I, this is one time that I'll give advice. Put in driver on your phone and use it to get your rides around town because then you can pick the price and they will either accept it or they'll reject it. Yeah, there's another thing. Uh, Three dollars to the bus terminal, okay? Yes. And it's so close to the airport terminal, but it's because an international uh, airport. You know what? They charge you five dollars in taxes. Yeah. Five. Everybody. They charge me. $5. But if you use N driver, then you can bid on the ride. Yeah. But it's up to the driver to accept it. Yeah, right? but you know, sometimes people don't know. The first time they come to Monday, they come oh, out. No. Taxis no. are here. I know. It's yeah. five dollars. Five dollars. Yeah. Great charge. Yeah. So there was the airport. I hope you folks enjoyed the tour. <laughs> Not much yeah. to see. Not much to see, but you know where the airport yeah. is. All right. So now we're going back. All right. So that is the end of this video. If you like this channel, please subscribe. If you like this video, smash that thumbs up button. If you didn't like it, bite me. And I say that with peace and love. We'll see you on the next one. Okay? Ciao, ciao. Ciao.